You're right people, Chaos here today, and you're looking at the title going, how on earth are you going to do this? How are you going to make this graphics card produce more FPS without overclocking? Well hang on in, I'll show you in a moment on the desktop. Alright, so we're at the desktop, and this is just a visual representation. This will work on any graphics card, like this R7 260C edition, or what I'm using in my PC, R9290X OC ASUS 4GB Monster. So, the way it works is graphics cards have two limitations on them, and that is the power that they can take and the temperature they can work at. Now, not getting too technical, there's core clock speeds, all that jazz on there. But you don't need to worry about that per se because you're not gonna be overclocking, but you're gonna be using the graphics card, what's built into it, to its benefit. So when you run these cards, they've now got software built in that when they're not being run, they idle. They stay at like their lowest setting so you can just work the desktop. But when you're gaming, they'll boost up to their maximum or higher. AMDs only boost up to their specified boost setting. Nvidia will allow the graphics card to go higher. So this technique will work on AMD, but it will really work on Nvidia cards as well. It will help them boost even higher than what they're specified. All right. So as I said, it's about power and it's about temperature. So I'll show you in context how this works. So let's open up some form of OC modifying software. So you've got your AMD one, you've got your Nvidia one, but one that will work on both and is very easy to use, MSI Afterburner. So on here, my R9290X is already a hot card to run, all right? It will run at 94 degrees, but say for example, your one is 75 degrees, all right? Whacked up to its max. But before you do any of this, benchmark your games. Benchmark the operating system to see what you're working with. Now, do this, then whack up your power limit. Don't worry, it's not going to damage your card. Click apply, then do some new benchmarks. You want to be double checking for your temperature because you are now allowing that my card normally runs 100%, 250 watts it can have. Now, with 50% more, 125 watts watts it can have temperature is going to go up a bit so you may need to do an aggressive fan curve so you go into your settings fan enable and enable aggressive one you can look on google for ones that people have used and use a bit of common sense okay so you do that you then do some benchmarks so i'll set this back down to factory settings leave it as it is but i've already done some benchmarks to show you some tangible results i've done this is all 1080p except for the heaven ones heaven basic heaven extreme csgo on high batman arkham city on high shadow mordor on high bon me and a bit of an rts dawn of war 2 on high so i've got minimum average max here of the factory clocks and then with the power limit boosted up things like that same again, but then I've done a percentage increase or decrease from the original to the altered. So you can see here that they've all gone up. Some of them next to nothing. But other ones, 8% they've increased by. So you may be going, what does 8% work out to be? So let's just say we look at this uh, Heaven Extreme minimum. Before any tweaking, it was 229 after the tweaking, 24.9. Only about 2 FPS. Alright, but let's actually look in-game. So, Shadow of Mordor, minimum. We're going from 58 FPS to 63 FPS as a minimum. And then average, 87.6. Averaging, 92.6. Maximum, 119.6. 121 you know, it's all going up. Sometimes it may go up a significant bit, sometimes it may not. But it all goes up in one way or another. So just by simply 
bump in the power target, bump in your temperature target if you have that option, and keep an eye on your temperatures, okay? You can make your graphic card work to its full potential without having to fiddle around with any of the actual claw core clock speeds or any of that jazz. So I hope this video has been concise and straightforward enough. If you need any help, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. If you think this is a pile of mess, give it a thumbs down. Totally understand. So you all take care. Chaos out. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see the other videos in the playlist, you got the left hand option. If you want to see the content that I have on my channel, you then have that middle option there. And if you'd like to join the chaotic crew, please don't be afraid to click that button on the right hand side. You're more than welcome.